the pioneer group from Tuluni Girls in Kenya, consisting of Oli Medata, Veronica Munchuka, Teresia Tuli and Justina Singe. With the current development in technology, companies like Tesla Company have been able to come up with electricity-powered vehicle engines. Such vehicles are proved not only expensive to acquire but also to maintain. We have also witnessed the rise of a fusion of electric and organic fuel vehicle engines, commonly known as hybrid engines. These have, however, not solved the problem of CO2 emission into the atmosphere, and on the other hand, they are expensive to maintain them. In our project, we have researched on a better way to come up with affordable vehicles which are eco-friendly. It's also good to remember that the extreme climate changes we are facing today, they are majorly caused by depletion of ozone layer, CO2 being the forefront in causing this damage. Mechanically, when a vehicle is fueled, the fuel sets into a combustion chamber where it is burned into gaseous form to produce 3.1 pounds of carbon dioxide and 1.4 pounds of water vapor as exhausted gas. In other words, a vehicle engine converts the liquid fuel into gases with CO2 being a byproduct. We thought of a better way to ensure that there is minimal or zero emission of carbon dioxide in the air. If we can fix a gas tank in a car instead of a vehicle engine having to break down the fuel, combustion to power the vehicle would still take place, only that this time round CO2 will not be produced. The vehicle will still have the same energy and power, and the maintenance cost of the engine will also come down. The advantage of this type of engine is that it only needs minor modification from the fuel engine. It is a practice that is already ongoing in the cost of having one fixed in a car ranging between 50,000 to 100,000 shillings. If the skill is shared and the materials needed made available, of course the cost will reduce. The cost will not only reduce for the fuel, but the cost of engine maintenance since the engine will not have to strain to break the liquid fuel into LPG gas. If the engine is created and the gas made fully with the gas-powered engine, it will be cheap to acquire and eco-friendly to use since there will be no emission of carbon dioxide. This project can be commercialized in that we can have gas stations as such engines go to a refill. This will create job opportunities and also revenue to those transforming the engines. The advantage of this project is that one doesn't have to go and buy an engine with a little modification but can be switching on on which type of fuel to use since the gas cylinders can be fixed on the car and the two fuels run the engine, one or a supplement of the other.